after i got the calls from iams i mean i was pretty surprised that i got call call from i am bangalore since i th- i used to think that so september the first remember you were able to make this drastic jump in that section i was struggling with reading comprehension section so hi everybody i am juhi narula very very excited to welcome you on our youtube channel mba wala by physics wala today we have a very special guest with us we have ujwal with us currently a student of i am bangalore is an engineer passed out from nit jaipur very warm we are so happy to have ujwal with us welcome ujwal to the channel so happy to have you with us thank you doing it's my so pleasure. ujwal uh, now please tell me something about your journey so when did you decided that you would want to appear for cat how did you begin uh, what were the initial uh, challenges and how was your study plan in general I think I should first begin with my profile, uh, academic profile, since it is very relevant to the, I mean, entry to the colleges. So we generally say it is like ten, 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 or ten nine nine. So by this it means if you've got ten CGP in tenth class and above ninety five, ninety percent in twelfth class, uh, and above nine CGP in college, so this profile uh, is tagged by nine 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 profile. So I I have nine nine eight profile, and along with that I have. Uh, scored ninety nine point zero one in CAT twenty twenty two. Before that, also I appeared for CAT in twenty twenty one, and I scored nine, about ninety seven percentile in that year. So, uh, regarding the journey, it is a bit different from I think most of the aspirants since I was not primarily preparing for CAT. I was actually preparing for RBI Grade B exam along with UPSC. So I left my job. I was working with Hero Motor Corp for uh, I worked with Hero Motor Corp for two years. and i left my job in august 2022 to prepare for rbi grade b exam so since this exam has almost more or less similar syllabus to cat so i was also pretty comfortable with giving cat and i uh, i gave cat as a contingency plan since uh, you have a lot of competition in rbi also and other exams so you can't take chances yes yeah, so it was a plan b that means yes it was plan b and plan b was successful not plan a so <laughs> Uh, Congratulations! Yeah. So destiny had something more interesting planned for you. So yes. now, since you were preparing for RBI and uh, then CAT just happened, so we can take it like this. But when you started preparing for CAT, which section did you find the most difficult one? So coming from engineering background, generally people say that they have weak English, and I am also among those masses. So I was facing. Got a lot of challenge, lot of challenges in English section, VRC section. So in order to address those challenges, uh, what I do, uh, what I did was uh, actually my younger brother was primarily preparing for CAT. So we both used to study together. So he has pretty good English. Uh, and recently he he got a score of seven sixteen GMAT. So wow! Uh, Congratulations, both the brothers are very talented in the family. Um, you yes. can say lucky, but yeah. <laughs> so. Right. uh i would like to give credit to my younger brother for uh, helping me in vrc section since i uh, already have had a good grip in quantitative section and dilr section so in english part i actually i used to give mocks uh, i used to appear for the mocks that my brother had already purchased for his preparation he so in that section i was struggling with uh, reading comprehension section uh, reading comprehension section so you know you have got less time and you have to do a lot of questions and you have to comprehend them well it's not like you are just seeing the paragraph and now i mean i what we used to do in uh, 12th class or sort of yes. those things so a lot of you have to prepare questions you have to reason out with the text right 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 so it requires due to diligence a lot of strategy a good strategy uh, so what would be that strategy because we see in the classes that we have engineer students or we have students who are very comfortable with maths ti lr but when it comes to verbal ability in rc everybody is like slightly intimidated they find the section boring so they are really not interested to solve the questions now since you were encountering the similar challenges so if i ask you that you know what would be the advice that you would want to give to the aspirants so that they are also able to overcome the mental barriers and also they can perform well in the exam what would be the suggestions so from uh, like from my personal experience what i felt was i was uh, while giving the mock test so i was uh, doing the english section in desperation that i have to just cross the section and 
uh, when I used to analyze the test, I think analysis part is the most uh, important part. Uh, it is imperative to analyze those parts well, since if you're just giving test and then moving ahead with other tests, it won't be it won't be uh, fruitful to your uh, preparation ahead. So what I used to do was uh, based on all the I used to I, I prepared an Excel sheet. So in that Excel sheet, I used to uh, categorize all the parts like in the VARC parts. We have uh, like psychology part, uh, psychology type of paragraphs and then scientific type of paragraphs. So I was pretty comfortable with uh, reading with uh, reading those scientific type of types of things. Mm -hmm. So what I used to keep in my mind that uh, at least I should give uh, after I mean going through the exam. But you should I uh, what I did was I always used to give five to six minutes uh, on briefly reading the uh, re reading the paragraph all the paragraphs and then choosing which paragraphs to go to and move forward. So after that. Uh, even uh, the thing, uh, the thing that you might feel in the exam, the uh, what uh, heating pressure that you can feel is that uh, you are reading the paragraph, and now in uh, in between you you feel that no, no, I should uh, skip this paragraph and yes. uh, move ahead. Yes. So that's why it is. Uh, I think it is essential that first you give a brief over over. Uh, I mean, eagle eye reading to the paragraphs, uh, and then whenever you, if you feel that you are comfortable reading those paragraphs and doing the questions. You can also you can do those things. What other thing that uh, my younger brother used to do? He used to reverse engineer the process. He used to he initially used to read the questions, and then you and then he he would read the paragraph and find out uh, if it if it would be, uh, I mean, tactful to, to go to the paragraph or not. Yes. Right, right. Since uh, it it might happen that questions are easy, but a paragraph seems intimidating, and you leave the paragraphs. So. This is a like in a leaving an opportunity cost. So, okay. so this was a thing, and uh, to be honest, I did not score well in English also. <laughs> so, uh, but but yeah, that is the thing that I uh, to get the call right. So what was right, the individual right. breakup? Uh, which one? Uh, in each of the sections, what was your overall percentile, and how much percentile you got in each of the sections? If you could please help us with that. Yes. Overall, all I scored ninety nine point oh one. Uh, in DILR section, I got about 99.6. Wow. Sorry, in QA section. Sorry, in QA section, 99.6. In wow. DILR, 98.8. Uh, wow. And in English, 93.7 or 6. Uh, so you, you still 90. had 93 point something percentile in the VARC section. So primarily, what we get is that you were very rigorous with the analysis, like you were telling us that you created an Excel sheet and you were documenting your weak areas. So that's one suggestion. Then you said that rigorous analysis always works and you were scrutinizing the passages and then you were intelligently selecting the right passages. So in CAT, uh, this is a very important advice and uh, which you should take from Ujwal that selection is very important, right? So that's actually the major factor that will help you reach to the desired score. So that's really, really helpful. Thank you, Ujwal, for that. One more thing. One more thing. Yes. Yes. Initially, in the first mock test, I scored about fifty-three. I think fifty to fifty-three percent. I don't remember the figure correctly in VR section. Uh, and how I was able to uh, come to ninety-three percent? Well, one more thing that I should, I think, I should add was uh, since I was preparing for RBI, maybe uh, I were I rigorously used to read the editorial sections of the Hindu. Brilliant. Or you can read any any newspaper. Right. So yes. in that ways, you are trying to, you know, build your capacity to read passages that come from different genres. Yes. So you don't get intimidated if something is coming from finance or mm. something coming from philosophy because you've accustomed yourself. Right. And uh, OK, uh, well, this is a very interesting question. When you've got this 53 percentile, uh, how many months did you take to reach to 93? So when was the time when you gave the first mock? I think for September. It was in the first week of September, I think. So September, day, November, you were able to make this drastic jump. So that's a very, very yeah. positive suggestion that you have time. So even if you're watching yes. the video now, you can be like to jewel and do well, right? So these few days, I mean, close to 90 days should be sufficient to jewel. So that's what you're trying to say. If students read regress, yes. do rigorous analysis, then they'll be able to, you know, get a good tax score. The more mock tests you give, the more comfortable you will feel in the exam. Since you are, you have uh, given so much of uh, so much efforts, 
so it doesn't feel like you are giving some uh, you are addressing some new uh, questions in the exam okay so my next question is close to how many mocks did you actually appear for before going for cat a ball parking figure would do i think i i gave about 40 mocks wow, about 40 mocks yes huge. and for all the mocks you were doing analysis yes 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 take I this had a, a huge amount of take this clue i mean 40 mocks see the consistency and see the determination and dedication you do not reach the high yes yes so that's that's really inspiring encouraging for those and uh, there are so uh, there will be sometimes when you feel that i should uh, now leave the uh, now go to some other prospect since it uh, it, it was a roller coaster ride but uh, how you i mean take that challenge and move ahead so i mean that that thing matters yes so that's why exactly my question that there would be days where you would just feel very low or you would feel not interested to study right so how did you cope up because students usually feel low when they are not able to perform well koi class attend kari or question samajh nahi aaye ya you know there are days where you really are not motivated so what would be the suggestion how did you get yourself motivated how did you overcome these days those days where you really feel low and dejected yes indeed there were there were many days when i used to feel that i should now more focus more on <coughs> my primary objective and not cat uh, but what avenue that uh, what was the venue that uh, i chose to in order to i mean mitigate those things so uh, I, i was into i am into fitness so <laughs> whenever i i got low marks in the mocks i used to go to gym work out for 2 to 3 hours <laughs> and this was yeah this was my uh, you can say an escape route to that uh, mentally uh, burdensome things that yeah, that are associated with the preparation of exams like cat so also i have uh, i had my younger brother with uh, with me who was very supporting supportive yeah. so having someone who is preparing for cat uh, also really uh, gives a lot of boost to your preparation i mean in, in uh, it uh, boost your mental uh, you can say morale right right so jimming and the support of younger brother these were the two points that helped you overcome those difficulties right. right so yes it's indeed important to have a strong support system so that you can at least talk and you can vent out that your feeling low so you have to find the right person should guide you rightly right. that's really important right ab aap ko kya feeling low or friend bol the chhod de yaar so that's not uh, how mm-hmm. it should work right absolutely absolutely ground to serve with positive people yes you have to be with positive people so do tell me that uh, once you got your cat score and you got the call for iams i'm sure you must be so excited but then how did you prepare for gds and pis this is the first part of the question and how was the actual experience uh being in front of the people who interviewed you so you could help us with that right right actually uh, i scored about 84 85 marks in cat so i thought uh, at that point of time i was thinking that i wouldn't be getting a good percentile uh and considering the historical uh, score to percentile uh, comparison so i became complacent and then i uh, i was preparing for my exam uh, that exam primary exam rbi but that uh, that preparation for rbi helped me a lot uh, in uh, i mean in the interviews so after i got the calls from iams i mean i was pretty surprised that i got got call call from i am bangalore since i th- i used to think that you have to have 99.5 plus percentile to get a call from i am bangalore but that's not the case i mean it wasn't the case with me i i have a gem profile hmm. so uh, even if you're gem uh, i mean you should not think that uh, 99 is sufficient you should uh, target for 100 only but uh even if you are getting a low percentile i have some friends with me who have got less than 99 but still um, they are at they are this college so it doesn't matter and yeah about the interview so after i got the calls from uh, all the iams i did not get call from i am ahmedabad and calcutta uh, apart from apart from a and c uh, yeah and shillong also i didn't i i don't know why i didn't get call from shillong <laughs> but uh what uh, what can we say so apart from these three from, three calls uh, you did not get a call from iim ahmedabad and kolkata and shillong rest all the iims called you for the interviews and for yes, how yes. many interviews did you actually go for all the all the i appeared for all the interviews wow. uh, and except for 
Yes, yes. Except for Kosi Code, I got uh, call from uh, admission call from all the colleges. Wonderful. So that's like great experience that you have had. So yes, now please <coughs> tell us that uh, what can our students do once they get a call? Uh, what should be the first thing in the mind? So first, uh, actually, they ask you to uh, give an SOP, that is statement of purpose, to come to the college. Right. So I think you should give a and sufficient amount of time preparing that SOP. Uh, based on what are your strengths, weakness, you can do a SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, and yes. then and then talk with people who are also preparing for the interviews. Uh, you can join any coaching. I didn't join any coaching, but uh, most of the most of my friends here have had joined coaching for uh, GDPI. Although I didn't I didn't appear for any, any GD. Uh, did I? No, no, no. I did not appear for any GD since they did not conduct uh, GD. Only Shillong uh, conducted GD. Uh, and rest all the IMs conducted uh, only personal interviews. So, for the personal interviews, I used to refer to uh, used to refer to the Hindu for the current affairs part, uh, mm -hmm. and I also used to watch some YouTube videos covering all those uh, basic geography history part. Since I mean, you should be very well aware of your state and all the affairs that are occurring in, in your state. Uh, in so most of the IMs, the place uh, that, that you come from, that's what you're trying right, to get. Yes. The place that you come from, about the historical importance of the college also. Uh, I, uh, I I had done my graduation from IIT Khadakpur. Yeah. IIT Khadakpur. VG SOM also gets admission uh, via CATS course. So yes. they asked me a lot. Of, they grilled me a lot on Jaipur. Right. Who was the first king of Jaipur and all those things. And I also mentioned in one of, uh, in one of my calls, I, uh, SOPs, I also mentioned that uh, I like playing chess. So one of my interviews, uh, about eighty percent of the time, they grilled me on chess. Right. So you should uh, you should write your recipe very carefully and keeping all the things in mind that this is uh, this is something that I can uh, ask. If, Just ask. Uh, uh, rigorously I asked. I mean, you can be yes. you know, really brutally. You should uh, be well aware of yourself. Yes. So you should whatever you're writing on SOP that really matters. You should be honest yes. and you should do a lot of effort while you're preparing your SOP. So that's the point that you're trying to convey. And you should, yes, the person should be able to see the story of your life from your SOP. Right. right. And how they, how your story, uh, how the things that you have accomplished or did uh, would add value to their institute also. Right. So that's uh, again like, an important point. Like, yes, yes, go ahead. Like, uh, for instance, in at I am Bangalore interview only, I got call from PGPBA course. There are two courses: PGP is post graduation program and PGPBA is post graduation program with a specialization in business analytics. Although I didn't have any uh, work experience in business analytics domain, uh, but I uh, but I since I like math, so in my SOP I I, I highlighted a lot and uh, emphasis a lot on mathematics parts. So my interview went about. Uh, I think 40 minutes. It was the I, I think hi yeah about 40 minutes. So uh, there were two panelists. One of the panelists talked uh, I mean about entirely about mathematics only. So okay. I was able to pretty comfortable with maths. I'm so I was able to answer all the questions. And the other panelist he asked me about all those basic thing basic things that were occurring the world in, in the world at at that time at that point of time. So. Uh, like the crisis of uh, financial institutions, uh, SVP crisis. I mean, some of the people would be knowing it, uh, those who are preparing. So, they were, so also, yes. So one thing I would like to add that uh, all the events about <coughs> economic events and social, social, political events, you should be well aware of those also uh, at the point Current of time affairs. of interview. Right. Current affairs, uh, SOPs, and uh, what's happening around and the place you come from. Mm -hmm. These were the yes. crucial points covered. And of course, you have yes, four yes. subjects. Like you right, said, right. that one entire interview was just having the discussion of maths. One panelist was entirely focusing on maths questions. Yes, yes. Uh, and some colleges are uh, famous for asking a uh, few things that most of the people know that they would be asking from. Like, I am Indore, they, uh, they grill me a lot on. Sorry, they grill me a lot on academic parts Mechan I did mechanical engineering so I was I, I couldn't recall most of the answers but still <laughs> I gave them the <laughs> I gave them the honest answer that I, I don't know this I didn't I um, mean superficially created some answer out of nowhere so, so you were honest I got it right yes yes be, uh, this I, I would recommend be honest if you don't know anything you can tell them that I am trying to uh, I mean structure uh, structure my thinking and just don't give a fluke that uh, yes or no 
I mean, not blind answers, but right. you should give your arguments na- rationally. Right. So, yes, yes, yes. These are most of the things that were, uh, I mean, that encompassed my interview uh, interview times. Wonderful. That's really interesting. Okay, now so you are at IIMs. Uh, so tell me about the life. How does it like to be a part of such prestigious college? Um, how are the networking opportunities? How are the professors? You might be meeting a lot of like-minded people who have really achieved significant in life. So must be must be getting a lot of aspirations, you know. So how is the experience being at the IIM Bangalore campus? Firstly, the thing is that we have a diverse crowd. There are people from top IITs and top branches of IITs, and there are many people who are from tier three colleges. So it's not the thing that uh, you can't. Uh, I mean, you should not appear for CAT if you are if you have a uh, background that is not so much shiny or bright. So it is not a thing. So we have a diverse background. The child, but the students here are really bright. Uh, it uh, it should be a obvious thing since the <laughs> this is I am Bangalore. So yes yeah the students here are really bright uh, and also most of the people here are, here come from professional background uh, they have work experience i am uh, i am calcutta in i am calcutta uh, among the old iams i am calcutta is the only i am uh, where a, a significant pro- proportion of the students are uh, freshers but here most of the people are uh, having work experience so uh, apart from that the academics here are very very rigorous very rigorous uh, Yes, yes. Actually, we have classes from Monday to Monday to Thursday only. But uh, we have holiday. You can say, but I won't say it. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sundays are holidays <laughs> since we uh, we have not packed schedule in the entire week. But so yeah, very, there very is hard. an immense. So, 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 so,
preparing to come uh, to go to uh, do an MBA. Uh, so uh, the last thing that I would be saying would be, <laughs> I think I'm out of uh, out of. <laughs> Thanks already so. given a lot yeah. of wonderful suggestions as well. So we are extremely, extremely grateful, elated. I'm sincerely praying and hoping that you reach great heights and you to bring a lot of Thank laurels you. to you, your family and to our country. Thank you so much for giving your time. We are truly, truly grateful. And I'm sure this interview is going to inspire a lot of aspirants. God bless you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for joining us as well. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.